Me and Bud are traveling, so I'm not You're traveling right. alone. You better read this. Right, for Bud? The way back. Right, Bud? Yeah, We're not alone. Just, just We're Marion and Bud. And the Rolf, but the Rolf isn't here right now. <sighs> yeah, we're on the ferry boat. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ocean or whatever to see, I suppose. Hi, Dad. Hi, Yay! Ooh, blue lighting. <laughs> Come off to the mm -hmm. Hey, so I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm on flight from Estevan uh, to Amsterdam right now or Schiphol. Just gonna planning to sleep. It's really nice outside.
can already tell I look tired, so excuse that, or I don't really want to excuse myself for the way I look. <laughs> but yeah, landing now. Okay, then sign. It's kind of cool how the clouds makes like, like different like sort of like patterns because of the sun and stuff. Now you can't really see anything, so. Yay, we can see clouds. Kind of cool. Oh, these clouds keep coming in the way, but it's kind of cool how it makes different patches and different colors. It just looks like a puzzle or something. It's really cool when you see all like the tulips and stuff, which I think I've seen like in Amsterdam before, like the Netherlands before. Because I have dad used to work here and now you can't see anything, so yeah. There's that or you see the sky. Uh, but yeah, it's really pretty. You can see all the tulips, different colors, or like patches kind of thing. Here you can see the city. I don't even know if this is interesting for you guys to watch, but maybe. It's kind of like Ik ga naar mijn partners en ze wij een prettige verblijf of een goed en veilig vervolg van de reis toe. U kunt vanaf nu weer gebruik maken van het mobiele netwerk van uw smartphone of tablet. Namens de gehele bemanning bedankt een fijne dag toegewenst en heel graag tot ziens. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Amsterdam. Please remain seated until the fast and seatbelt signs have been switched off. Be sure to remove any personal belongings from your sense and onward journey. You may now use this cellular service of your smartphone and tablet again. On behalf of the entire crew, we thank you. Have a lovely day. Hey guys, so I just, or I didn't just arrive, but I have arrived in Chipnall and I found my gate, which is one of my tips is, is to find a gate right away. And I already feel like I look tired and red in the face. Set tends to happen and I get tired. Um, so I have around an hour to look around, maybe shop a bit. I'm not gonna shop too much because I still have to save money for my trip. Um, yeah. It's not really that interesting, but I wanted to try to vlog and stuff when I'm traveling. This is interesting to try to try another 747 for an airplane over there. Um, I don't know if you could say that, but yeah. So I have a little over an hour till boarding time. It's almost one o'clock. I'm boarding at two. It's like five to one. So I we'll have like one hour and five minutes, and that's enough to just chill a bit and prepare for the overseas flight. And it's kind of funny because like one side of my face is red, this side, and this one isn't. I don't know. Am I the only one who gets kind of red when I'm tired? I only got to sleep like two hours, so uh, there's that. And then I have like. This is usually over 24 hours altogether traveling to Canada. This is kind of crazy. I wish there was just a direct flight. <laughs> there was just someone who looked really weirdly at me. Um, but yeah, that's how it is to be a vlogger. Um, yeah, I might just, I don't know, I might film on a plane, I might film when I get to Edmonton, I'm not sure. But now I feel safe because now I found my gate. And now I can just chill and relax and. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. So, talk to you later.
on the aisle seats just for the purpose of having to go to the toilet all the time. It's kind of a problem. I literally chose a seat based on where, like, I was thinking that it would be like a really hard read, but it was actually really easy and good. So I couldn't really process anything because I was so tired. But I think I got like at least three hours sleep, so that's good. Um, I think I might just end the vlog here. Just because I don't feel like filming more, so. Yeah, I probably look all tired. It's probably been up like 24 hours already, so I only had two hours sleep before the travel, so there's that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna chill a bit before boarding starts. I've located my gate so I can just walk around a bit. Um, yeah, not so used to people looking at me with a camera, but gotta get used to it. Um, I feel like I gotta get a new vlog camera. Cause I can't, it's like all up in my face. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's been a good trip. It's been a new experience to like travel alone because I don't have to adjust to all my parents or my two parents and my brother. Cause he usually just yaps all the time. Anyways, so I've just been by myself and I've gathered more inspiration and loving life. So yeah. See you in, I don't know, my next vlog, my next video or something. <sighs> yeah, bye! Me and Butt made it. Or we're not in Winnipeg yet, but we're in Edmonton and we found a gate. And yeah, I got myself a booster juice. It's like huge. Everything is just huge here. <laughs> like, if this was Norway, this would be really small. But yeah, everything is huge. And I got two views because I need two views. I know I said I'd, no, that was the end of the video vlog or vlog. But um, yeah, kind of felt like filming. Maybe I'm starting to get lonely or something. Or talkative anyways, because I love to talk. I was kind of hoping I'd meet like someone on the plane who was really talkative and we could talk about life, philosophy and all that, but no, that, you know. But I did sit with her, uh, like, uh, she was, uh, Kugule was in English. She was nice, like she, but she didn't talk much. But she was polite and all. It's not like I sat with the douchebag, so that's good. Um, yeah. I think this is the end of the vlog now. <laughs> um, but who knows? 
if not bye for now.